All right, back getting ready now for round three. Andre Ward, Ruben Hollywood Williams. Williams was cut, corner of the left eye in round two. Referee John Shirley told us between rounds that it was an accidental headbutt. But Williams will have to deal with that now. And is in backing up and backing away from Andre Ward, who looks as though he wants to pick up the pace. First of all, how discouraging is that cut, do you think, to a, to a veteran? Oh, it's very, it's very discouraging to anyone if you get a cut. He's a veteran. He's been through this before. So he, he puts it behind him. He's focused on the fight, Ruben Williams is. Now, between rounds, the referee, John Shirley, went over to Andre Ward's corner just to say, you know, watch your heads. Uh, accidental headbutt there. Just watch your head. You know, you're so focused in a fight. Many times, I never even knew I was cut when I got cut in fights. So it, it may be the case, well, he knows now, Ruben does, but it may be told to him by his corner. And he works with a southpaw stance here in the third round. Something he does not do very often, but he's real effective with that. Well, he certainly was there putting a the left cross, and another straight left cross. He may stay southpaw the rest of the fight. <laughs> that quick combination. And Andre Ward looks as though he's ready to take control of this fight. And Ruben Williams is not showing what he has shown in the past so far. Not at all. Kind of in his shell now. You know what? That cut may mentally have some done him some damage with with uh, a fighter of his background. He's been through this before. Oh, a combination of Ward drives uh, Ruben Williams into the ropes. Williams needs to get those hands moving. Yes, Remember that jab in the first two rounds? It's it's absent here. Williams trying to rip a right hand to the body. Has a long reach. But Andre Ward trying to, has been able to successfully take that jab away from him here and that reach away from him here. And that right just, speed. just on the cut. Look at the left hand. Now that's where that left hand is dangerous of Williams that he keeps down by his le leg. And he will jab from there. There it is. He will, but he needs to be protecting that eye. That left eye. Nice jab from Andre Ward. Ward drives Williams into the ropes. Williams looking tentative. And Andre Ward picking it up. Andre might be dreaming of a quick stoppage here. And Ward would love a KO in this fight. He would love a KO because of the, the, the green fight with Williams. He wants to draw some kind of so he wants fans to draw some kind of parallel with him and Alan Green. He wants to fight the best in the world. Andre Ward. Going to the final seconds of round three, Williams tries to drive a left hand to the bottom. Here comes Ward forward, and there's the bell. Rangel. Round three. Confusion over there in the face of Williams. Look what he's doing with the right hand. I mean, look at what he's jab. He's taking the jab. He's taking the jab. What's the name? What's the cross of the body? Which basically gives you a motherfucker. Clear right hand shot. See, well, I mean, this is big shots from Andre Ward. Ward again on the attack. Look at this pressure from Andre. He is pressing the attack. And you know what? Williams has gone into a shell somewhat. And it was amazing. As soon as Andre Ward made an adjustment here and turned left-handed uh, Sean, it just immediately paid off for him, just like that. And now you see that the eye cut has uh, opened a little wider. It's going to be tough to overcome in this fight for Ruben Williams. And now it is in a, in a pretty good position. It's over on the outside orbital, so it, 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 if it drips, it'll drip down the side of the face, not directly into the eye, hampering the vision. Back to right hand, it goes Andre Ward, and he comes out loaded for bear here at the start of round four. Big Ward shot. in the black trunks. Uh, Ruben Williams in the blue trunks. As Sean described it going back into a shell. That's what he did in that last round. And Ruben Williams is going to need to pick it up. There's that jab. It can come at any time. And this is really what he did in his fight with Green Williams. He was just into a shell. He wasn't real aggressive. He didn't let it go. He, was, he, he said he was gun shy. Just, couldn't get off. He couldn't. He, said, he attributed it to ring rust. I was posing. Just couldn't get off. Good jab. Good jab. One go. Coming to the 
the southpaw stance. Wood. And remember one thing is that Logan Williams cut as a result of an accidental headbutt. That takes away the position of being at a TKO situation if he is stopped because of that cut. At the end of this round, there's a better scorecard. It's good left uppercut from Andre Ward. Again, back into the left-handed stance. This is the most dramatic difference I've seen for Ward in terms of a fight when he turns left-handed. This has been amazing. He's been much better and much more successful left-handed tonight than right-handed. And he's got a guy standing right in front of him. It's time to go after him, Andre. You know, time to go after him. Help this guy out. Looks to me like Williams is, is posing again. He's, he's looking like he gets, he's getting old as the fight progresses. That came to the body that time as Ward changes up. And Ruben Williams almost looks like he's waiting to be hit. He is not getting off in this fight. First round or two, he did have some success with the jab at times, but since then, as soon as Andre Ward turned stop, left handed, stop, man, it has been a completely new fight. There's the left uppercut from Andre Ward. Stop, 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 stop. What that. a weapon. That hey. Uppercut. You're grabbing here, and you're grabbing here. Hit you with a chin, hit you in the Adam's apple, hit you right in the xiphoid complex. No grabbing, no holding. Right in the solar plexus. Williams looks wide open as he squares up against Andre Ward, but Ward doesn't make him pay. Williams coming in now fairly lax oh. defensively, and that's why he has to pay for it. I'm just, I'm just surprised that he squared himself up that way with his hands down. Wide open for Ward. Down around his waist. Williams, left hand dangerous. Final seconds of the round. Another good round for Andre Ward. Welcome back to San Jose. The fourth round, it was Ward on the attack. Really careful, cautious about moving in, but he lands with the uppercut, then an overhand left, and the big left, the last punch of the round. It was Andre Ward. He's got he's got a sitting duck in Williams. It's time to go in. Look at this left, left uppercut. Look at the strength, the muscles, the tension on that shot. What a wicked punch. The blood was streaming down even more at the end of that last round, and Andre Ward going out fast again. He's been starting these last couple of rounds very quick at the beginning of the round. And Wilburn Williams backing off. Looks as like he's almost in survival mode already. And it is time to, for Ward to end the show. And how can he do that? Williams is, is savvy enough to hang on there. Hang in there as long as you're not putting the pressure on, not, not really taking him out. Williams will hang in there for, for 10 rounds. Ward beating him to the punch with that jab. And Williams looks like a man right now who just can't get off. He's confused. Look at him. It's manifest on his face. It's all Andre Ward right now. Ruben Williams is going to have to get his hands moving. Oh, yeah, I asked Ruben today what, what he was going to do in this fight. He said, I don't know. I know I know. I've been around the ring long enough. I know what to do. He, you know, he's seen Andre a few times in the past. When you see a fighter in the past and they're in the ring, then you get in the ring with him, sometimes it's not the same guy you just saw in the past. You're like, wow, hit it too late. I wanted to know everything about my opponent. Many fighters do not want to know about their adversary. There's been a lot of talk about the pace that Andre Williams has been brought through his professional career. Stumbled back by Ruben Williams. I met Ruben Williams then and, and uh, Andre Ward, I combined the two names. <laughs> the pace that Andre Ward has fought at as a professional, some have been disappointed with the progress in terms of the speed of the career. They feel they should have been brought along a little quicker, but... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't have any argument with it right now. And he pointed to the example of Kelly Pavlik, of course, who took seven years to become a professional world champion. He brought along to make sure he fought all the styles, all the sizes, all the different the types of fighters before. And then when he was ready for the big step up, he was indeed ready. Oh, yeah. And that's something Andre wants to do. He knows where he is. He hears the predictions like everybody else. I personally think he's a world champion already as an amateur. Now he just needs to... Do that in the pro in the pro ranks. It's a different sport, but he's ready to step up. Obviously, he's not lost a second of this, of this fight. 
Hard left hand by uh, Andre Ward, and here comes Ward back again, and Williams is in some difficulty here. He's been hurt, he's bleeding, his fight plan is not panning out. He's cut, he's hurt, he's been, he's been wobbled, Williams has, and it's time for Ward to close the show. Good jab from Ward, and Andre Ward has turned into the man with the big jab. As he